You could do this, and this, and even this, with a new 40-volt brushless self-propelled lawnmower. It comes with two 20-volt batteries and a dual charger, blade wrench, and a collection bag. Its 3-in-1 design provides mulching, side discharge, or rear bagging options. And the collapsible handles are ideal for storage in tight places. Remove all packing material and ensure you have all tools and accessories required for the assembly. Secure the lower handlebar and make sure the control cord runs up the upper side of the lower handlebar on the right. Then attach the upper handlebar and secure the control cord with the clips provided. Don't connect the unit to battery power until the mower is completely assembled. You'll need to fully charge the batteries before you use it for the first time. On the deck, you'll find a single height adjustment lever with six cut heights. Remove the safety key before adjusting. To use the grass bag, open the deflector guard, hold in position, and then align and hook it into the attachment slots of the rear discharge chute. And just remember to empty the grass bag regularly. To mulch, ensure the mulching plate is inserted over the grass chute. Don't install the grass bag when in this mode. Make sure the mulching plate is inserted to use the side chute option, and attach the side chute under the discharge cover. Wearing safety gloves, lightly oil along the edge of the blade. And be sure to inspect the blade after each use, and sharpen and oil as needed. Insert the batteries and safety key before starting. It's important to note the lawnmower will not operate unless both batteries are installed. To start the mower, pull the bale towards the handle while holding the safety lock-off button pressed. After the mower starts, release the safety lock-off button. Release the bale to stop the mower. To use the self-propelling feature, pull the lawnmower bale towards the handle and then pull the self-propelling lever at the same time. Release the self-propelling bar to stop the forward motion without stopping the engine. Hold the bale down against the handle to continue mowing. Adjust the self-propelling speed with the speed control lever. Safely, try to keep the underbody and blade clean and free of debris. And be sure to remove clippings from the discharge chute after each cut. After you're finished, release the four knobs and fold up the handles, and easily store it away until your next use.